And my continuing saga of loving the work of Mario Fortuny and wondering how can I recreate some of those effects. I load up the sponge brush and see how I'm just working it on one side because I want to get a nice, even, fat, juicy layer of paint. And then the way I apply it is tapping. So this takes a little bit of practice. If, you, if your paint is all gloppy on the brush, it'll go down into the grooves and you don't want that. So you don't want, you don't want to be stingy here. But you also don't want to be too gloppy. So that looks about good. Now I put my Teflon pressing cloth down on the surface of the ironing board and then I'm using this great fabric that I purchased and I'm going to pick one of the squares that I want my image to be on. But if you're working with a piece of fabric, you're just going to choose the place on your piece of fabric. And then I am, and you only get one chance at this, so I'm going to position this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So can you see how the stamp is positioned underneath? And then you're going to take your steam iron and don't just leave it in one spot. So give it a good shot of steam. Keep moving it. Can you see how the water in the paint is coming through? I'm, and again, I'm getting that strike through of the image. So I can see that it's working. I can see that the paint is releasing. And then we peel it away. And there's the image. And it's different every 